guys it's me Alexis here welcome back to my channel in today's video I wanted to do a makeup haul like updated review slash kind of thing because I haven't did one of these in like five or six months where I talk about my recent purchases or things that came to me and how I like them or how I didn't like them whatever so I have them broken down into like different categories I have like in front of my table I have the new, which things that just recently got to me or I haven't tried out yet, the good, the okay, and then just the, the ugly, like the, the bad. So we're going to start with the new, good, all right, and then the bad. So let's hop right into it. Oh, the first thing that I got that's new that I have yet to use and I keep like, it's getting to my collection through BoxyCharm and I can't get rid of it or find a use for it, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, right? Yeah. This palette here. Y'all, I have yet to use it. It's brand new. I think I swatched like two shades in here. I, I have no opinion on it other than that. I just can't find a like reason to want to pull this out. Like today, my eye look is pretty fun. And like this doesn't really scream me. If you've been to my channel more than once, you know that I don't really do eye looks that use this kind of use these colors like that have you know I hope it making sense like I don't use these colors regularly or I don't choose to especially on YouTube so it's like I mean they're pigmented it's just a bunch of shimmers which I hate I just haven't found a use for it yet but it's still in the new pile because I have yet to touch it so it, it, it might have to just be decluttered like I, I just mm, I need to try it but I don't want to um Next is from Pure Cosmetics. It's that Festival palette. Now, today I was going to use the pink in here. Like, it's this really pretty neon pink. I was going to go for that. But then I was like, no. Um, I just felt, felt like it's it's pretty neon and whatever. Like, it's a nice color. But, like, I like the one in the Morphe palette better. So I didn't want to use that one. Which I just, like I said, I have one already that I really enjoy, so I didn't feel the need to go read for this one. I, I, like, the shimmers here are nice. Like, they're just okay. Nothing is, like, fantastic about this palette. That's why I haven't reached for it yet. You can do looks with this if you use other palettes. Like, like if I would did this palette today, I would have had to use another color from somewhere else, which is fine. But, like, by itself, it's, it's, it's not much for me, you know? The glitters here, I, I mean, I can't stand the glitters. I had the, from the Pure Grinch collection, I had those glitters, and that glitter was atrocious. Like, it's it's pretty bad. So, I haven't tried it out yet, because yet again, I'm just not inspired to touch these palettes. But they're new, and I never used them. Next, okay, so next thing that I got, two new things here. I got this little package from e.l.f. Okay. It came with their new concealers. Um, I'm wearing them today. I, I got the shade Tan Latte and Deep Olive. I use Deep Tan Latte first because I've also already tried these concealers out and I knew that they oxidized like four shades darker than what they first looked like. So I used the shade uh, Tan Latte then I went back over with Deep Olive and I have my under eye concealer that I'm wearing today. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. Super full coverage. Um, like you can't see anything under these eyes so the only thing I have tried this out before and it's like it's 16 hour camo concealer it is not 16 hours I tried out the deep cinnamon one when I say 16 hours uh no it's 10 uh maybe 10 it was breaking down by kind of like eight so now for that but I like I got new shades to try out that's why it's new but I didn't I tried this out before the shade match is definitely better than the deep cinnamon I got so I like the shade match. It's cute for a YouTube setting. It's full coverage. It's cute. But like for work, I'm not going to reach for this. So next thing I got a, another PR little box from Mora. I hope I'm saying that right correctly. Mora. Um, sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But they sent me their new concealers too. I got, it's in a little cute little package too that I like. I like that. That's really cute. Um, it, gave, it sent me three concealers. I have the... The shade six seven eight it's their mega concealer waterproof full coverage like it's like it, it's here um, and here's the shade six that's what the shade six looks like oh it's oh it is some thick concealer it is thick 
All right, that's the shade six here. Then let's try seven. So this is the shade seven here. Uh, not that big of a jump. Oh, sorry. So not that big of a jump. This was six here and that's seven. And then here's eight. That's eight. I mean, they're all pretty close. Like, I mean, they all look like the same shade. Like, they're just three different ones with three different undertones. They don't really get that deep. Like, this one's like red, neutral, and orange. Like, that's really what it is. The shades don't go deeper. They're just different undertones. But I should probably be seven. I think it's my best bet. Um, so I'll try this out in a future video, but I got three concealers. Next, I got this from Octoly. Um, I got that from Octoly too. This YSL foundation. Ah, I ordered the wrong shade. I ordered the shade B90. I don't know why I thought this was going to be my shade, but, but you can look at it. Like, this ain't gonna work for me. So, um, I'll just take it out so I don't have to use a pump so I could just swatch. This is like, this is not even my contour shade. Like I couldn't even contour this. And I'm really disappointed. I got it through Octoly so I didn't get to like pick. I got to pick it but like I didn't see how deep it was. I did do any research on it. So I can't even return and get the correct shade. I'm just kind of like stuck with it now. Uh, which is very unfortunate. But that's all the new stuff that I just recently got. And let's get into the good stuff that I bought in the past six months that I really enjoy. The first good thing that I'm wearing today is from Bombshell Cosmetica. It is their lashes, the Sunflower Lashes. I get so many questions, what lashes are you wearing when I wear these lashes? It is the Bombshell Cosmetic Sunflower. I adore these. They are just like dramatic and beautiful. Um, I love them. Awesome. Next thing I got... The new, well it's not new, it's a new shade, the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This is the shade 340. I was wearing the shade 356. Super dark on me, like it was so dark. I finally found my match. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love, love this foundation. This is my old shade, my new shade. You can see this one's a, definitely a better fit for me. Um, love this foundation, it is my favorite. I wear it all the time. I only like... I go, I, it's my go-to. I only wear it a different foundation if I'm trying to test something out or like I need to give this a break. It is my go-to. My skin looks flawless when I wear it. It's super full coverage. So beautiful. Two pumps. We're good. We're done. I love it. And I will, I will, I will keep talking about this in the, the time. Next thing that I got that I love, it is the Morphe 15S palette. This palette, I, I have, can't tell you guys how many palettes I have passed on like after getting this one because it has normally that purple color that pink purple color everybody's trying to put in their palettes down the purple and the green it has that in here for me so I've been like well I don't need that pink because I have that I don't need the purple because I have this and this has been this this has been my favorite palette for like the pink I use it today the pink in here is just sickening it's just beautiful it's super neon super pigmented uh, especially if you use a good primer or a light concealer it just looks flawless I love all the shades in here I have tested pretty much every shade in this palette like I adore it I recommend it it's just an awesome palette for Morphe very affordable um, if you get the Jekyll Hill palette you'll like this palette well the original Jekyll Hill palette you like this palette I love it the next thing that's so good that I haven't talked about is my singles palette I'm really big on singles this is something that I got into this year was a singles train um, you realize that those pop of colors that normal palettes tease you with, just buy the single. It works out. Most of these singles are from ColourPop. They're from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I depot it. Some of these are some Juvia's Play shadows. The two pure glitters from the Grinch collection. Those are two are in there. It's just, I just, I just love my singles. It's just blue fantasy. All the pops of blue that were popular this year. I own them. That's why I didn't fall for it. And I love all the shades in here. That's what that's why they're my singles because I love them. And um, yeah, I love these. Recommend them. Next thing is another palette that I loved. It was a Morphe 35V palette. Here it is. You open it up. Now the only con about this palette is that you get all your basic boring shades on this side, 
and then you get like three good rows of kind of fun colors and that's what I'm really here for all of this could go as long as I have the one two three I don't even include this one but all these new, I don't, don't need that but I do love the blues here they're very fun pigmented and um, you can make so many looks with this palette alone you do have the basic shades that you need and I have them here but I kind of prefer these shades but the quality of the shadows is actually really good too and I like them next is the ColourPop good sport palette I bought this palette and it's a good palette don't get me wrong but then like I got others and kind of forgot about this palette this one was I think 16 bucks maybe maybe $12 I don't remember um, but it was a nice cute palette I mean it worked it's good I like it and I mean it works like it, it, I don't know what else to say it's a good palette I just haven't like been reaching for because it's, it's really kind of like fall-ish color vibes and I haven't been into that vibe yet um, lately so yeah getting into some really 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 loves like some goods this no problem um, primer that I got from boxycharm touch and soul I guess the company name is look at this I have used so much of this product it's an everyday primer for me I have just been reaching for it I used to be a big fan of the elf hydrating primer that one was gorgeous it was beautiful for hydrating this one's hydrating and it covers up your pores your skin looks like baby soft like it is beautiful I mean I love this primer this is one of those boxycharm things that you get that you would have never bought if you didn't get the boxycharm but now it's like a repurchase I adore this primer and I only positive things it's just it's just really good next we have the Bogat palette now you guys in that thumbnail where I talked about this palette I got the funniest comment somebody said I was wondering why you're <laughs> you were holding a small roasted chicken and that <laughs> was the funniest thing that's how inconvenient <laughs> like that's how bad this packaging is like it looks like a small turkey or a small chicken uh, it's just I love this palette let me say that now the shades here are sickening such a unique theme such a unique uh, color story like it's really beautiful the shadows are pigmented great quality a good 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 $40 purchase I recommend it now what I don't like and what they could improve on is this huge bulky packaging and also what is this like it looks like the it's something like wet has gotten on here which I don't know what but it only hit these parts it looks like my cheese is like molding like it's weird and it looks stupid that's why the packaging is such a bad thing also this shade onion rings has chipped this has never left my house like I don't get what what but like the pack like I said this packaging was cute in theory but it was just it was just stupid all around this pal like this mirror is just inconvenience it's heavy but the shades the shades though are beautiful like these greens I don't really think I ever owned I use this play blue cheese with the Atlantis palette it's like something you've never seen before it's really out there it's like if you have that makeup Shayla palette that kind of gray one but times 15 with this one the packaging is a 3 out of 10, but the actual quality of the shade is a 10 out of 10 for me. Love it. Alright, next thing I got is also some lashes from Glam Light. This is the Style Chicago Deep Dish. Um, I wore these lashes when I do when I use the burger palette the first time you guys asked. These are the lashes for them. They're pretty good. I mean, they're not like my sunflower ones that I adore, but these are these are cute. And the packaging is also very inconvenient. Like, I mean, this is from the like who need look this is really needs this you know but the lashes are actually they're fine they're cute concealers this Milani concealer perfect concealer you guys this was $8.99 I stand I live for this concealer it's so good I like I wore it non-stop when I first got it like for three weeks just straight was of this concealer it was so pretty it lasted when I got I went to work came home went to walmart came back home and it was still there like i put it on the early that morning i loved it very nice concealer um eight bucks loved it another one nyx can't stop won't stop the same thing very full coverage um uh, what was this full coverage this one i think oh yeah also this was medium coverage you have to use like 
you could build it like it went to two layers and it built really good and then the next one I have is the NYX can't stop won't stop I initially went to this concealer like ready to not like it kind of like ugh, I mean I didn't like the foundation so I might like the concealer this one made me eat my words I love this concealer it's really really good um super hydrating for concealer super full coverage too and I, I mean like for it to be full coverage I think it's gonna be like hydrating boy did I love this concealer and both of them were like around the $8.99 none of them went past like 10 bucks loved it and that's it for the good pile things that I tried out that I really really enjoyed and let's get into the um the all right section you know not it wasn't the good it wasn't bad just all right um this a revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation you guys it is what it says it is it is so full coverage but so thick and so heavy um i didn't get like i don't like when i put on any kind of makeup where i can feel myself wearing makeup like it's a weird thing to, to feel your skin like to feel makeup on your skin that means it's really really heavy and I had this problem with it yes it's full coverage yes I feel like it didn't crease as bad but it was just very heavy so it wasn't like bad but it wasn't like good it was just okay it was all right I never wore it after that one day I was like eh, nah, nah. I didn't like the concealer don't like the foundation somebody said that they didn't like it either and they were telling me that it was a bad choice to buy that foundation and it truly was especially doing a low buy i regret picking that up the next okay thing i got was from morphe it is their 8c blush palette and this is the, this is my main reason for not liking blush highlighter kit situations i only use one shade which was drama and yes it's a very very pretty blush but I haven't used it since. I just stick to the Max Fuse Cocoa one because, I mean, this is just big, large, and in charge where I can peel out my small little com compact blush and call it a day. I, I only use one shade out of all of these. It's just not necessary for me to own. And I got it for free. So it's it, it was sent to me. So it's kind of like, you know, I mean, I guess. And it just proved my point on why I feel like it's just not necessary to buy kits like this. So... It works, yes, it's cute, but I mean, I, I don't really need it. Now let's get into the ugly, just the straight bad, um, easy peasy, the cover effects thing that I got. This is just bad because I can't use it. Like, I, these LED shades work for me other than an inner corner highlight. Like that, that's it, that's easy. Um, just, I can't use it. Next thing that I did not like, that was so bad. This bite lipstick I got from a boxy charm. Um, like as you can see here, I used it and you can see how it's kind of already crumbled. Maybe I don't know how you can how you can put it. I'm so used to or spoiled by the ColourPop Lux lipsticks, where it's very buttery, very smooth, very creamy, and this is more of the traditional lipstick where it is dry central. All day I kept doing. Like an ostrich because I just felt like it was so dry and I kept trying to get some moisture there it, this was not it for me I personally didn't like this lipstick like I said I preferred the Colourpop Luxe lips if you like those you're not gonna like this one that's that thing mm, I didn't like this next thing that I did not like which was kind of unfortunate I really didn't dislike it it just didn't work for my skin it is the it cosmetics confidence in cream I just got this the web boxy charm the April FOMO box and I told you guys I was going to try it out. I don't think I uploaded that video or not. But I was going to try it out. And I tried it out. And I tried it out for about two weeks. And I used a good bit of it before I realized that it is not for my skin. The first few times I wore it, it was burning my skin. But I kept thinking, okay, maybe it's a new product, whatever, whatever. It burned when I put it on. Like my eyes with water because I put it under like here and like forehead my eyes would start to water my skin would start to burn like it was a weird thing and I kept trying to say okay maybe it's this maybe it's that until my skin finally told me okay you ain't catching the hint we'll, we'll throw one at your face and I started to get bumps like really tiny like not like tiny but they were pretty like decent size bumps under my eyes and on my face I'm like okay let me stop go back to my elf and it went fine for me so this was ugly because like I just 
it just broke my skin out is something in here is way too strong for my skin like if something is way too strong in here for my skin and that's what was causing me to break out and the burning sensation I don't know why uh, I didn't really notice anything different with my skin other than the burning like it it didn't seem like it was hydrated or anything new or anything like that um, so yeah I felt like my skin was very sensitive to this product so for me it, it just didn't work and it's like $48 that I can no longer use I could probably find somebody in my family who might want to try this out but it did for my skin it just didn't work the next thing that I got to show you guys that I was really pissed about that was one of my favorites that has now turned into the most hated thing in my collection ColourPop Jelly Munch Shadows this is the problem with YouTube this is the problem I've always had with YouTube is and I'm I'm victim of it but I'm coming here and I'm telling you when you first get a product it is the bomb you love it you try it you it's just awesome cute right and then those people who say they love it on YouTube never use it again and then you people like me who are go buy it with our real money and consistently use it hate it because we realize the truth about it the truth about these things is that they dry out so quickly and I did the right thing I kept the little top on it but boy this is dry to the bone like there's nothing coming off you remember how when you first get it you could like it was like kind of like wet and soupy no this is dry I'm just get close as possible ain't nothing moving and they're all like that I don't know what I did wrong but they all got very dry and hard even this one like like I don't know if I can put some water in it or like something to help it bring it back to life but it doesn't have that creamy effect anymore um, it's just super dry hard to pick up super flaky like this one I was gonna use this one. this is how I found out they were dry uh, maybe a month ago on my birthday April I wanted to use the pink one because you know ooh, fun 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 dry 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 this one has a little bit more life to it than the others but look how flaky it is now look 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 how flaky that is like no no ma'am and then where is this actual pigment like there's no there's no product I mean I'm sorry like what went wrong I don't know what I did I, I don't know what I did like I probably bought these in maybe what maybe January and by June they're all dried up Ugh. and they're oh that's just ugly look that's just sad like I don't know what went wrong here but they all dried up on me no, I've watched videos and reviews and nobody has went back and said that they had this problem so maybe it's just a me problem but they all dried up on me if you have some tips on how to fix it please DM me or please leave the comment down below and tell me because I would need that advice I really do need it thank you and um yeah I have one more product to talk about that's an ugly side and that'll be it for this video and the last product that is just wasn't good for I didn't enjoy it the Candylicious palette by bombshell man oh man this was a disappointment for me I had such high hopes and it was a look I did one day on camera that I regret to this day I was trying to go for a red look with this palette and it turned out pink it just the shimmers were flailing everywhere and flaky and they kept just they just kept rising up 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 to my dang eyebrows like it just was bad the shadows of the day just kept spreading like I have, I don't like when shadows spread if I put you in one spot you can stay in that one spot I hate when I wear eyeshadow and it goes like to touch my hairline it's it's a weird situation with these shades um it's a very unique color story it's very large and inconvenient but I really want to try it out it was $40 very or overpriced I compared these shadows to Juvia's Place which I still don't even think that's true I think they're lower than Juvia's Place 
they're like AliExpress to me. And there's some good shells on AliExpress, but it's like more of the lower, cheaper side of AliExpress. And they're charging like $40. Like that's really what is a kicker. A lot of people love this palette. To me, I felt like you could go to Morphe, you could go to ColourPop, you could go to Juvia's Place and you have a better experience. Um, this wasn't it for $40. It was not it. Um, I got the Glam Light palette, 40 bucks. That was it. This was not. I just did not enjoy this palette. It just, these shades did not work out for me. Um, I, I haven't touched it. Like, I haven't used it since I bought it. Just a very, one of those purchases I just genuinely regret. It wasn't like a, a spur of the moment thing. I really, really wanted it. I saw it on True Mood. Really, really wanted it. Thought it was great. Wanted to try it out. Very small company. Bought it. Didn't have a good experience with it. And that's just an honest truth. And I hope you guys enjoyed new my good, my all right, and my straight ugly um, review. I think these videos are important to come back after I try makeup out and say, this was good, this was not. I'm sorry it took so long. I just realized that I didn't have a video like this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Where's that wipe? So I felt like I didn't, what? So I didn't, I'm filming a video. So this, and it came with, and the shade match is different. I'm like just fumbling at life. Okay. Next thing I got was another little, oh, oh, to try out. And then they also sent me some tissue wipes. Like, what, what am I reading? It's just some face wipes for makeup. So I'm just kind of, ah. Uh, Oh, that hurt. It's like heavy. So here are the two per palettes from the, the. These are the two per glitters. These are, is the Morphe fifth third. Five, blah, blah. All right. Next thing I got is also some lashes from Glam Light. I wore these, and you got. So I got these lashes from Glam Light too. This is the shade Chicago Deep. The shade. This is a uh, Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Definition Conceal Foundation. What am I? What did I just say? The Makeup Revolution, Makeup Revolution, get into the straight, just, oh no, i do this today. Next was the ColourPop Lux Lux, the unfortunate, because I just, I didn't really, did not, I really didn't, and I, I just feel like my son was, my little, set, I, I cannot, you, continually, and, and, my good bag, my good, my,